Hello traders, in this video, we'll walk through all the 84 input parameters of the Position Sizer Expert Advisor. You will see what each of the input parameters do, and how they can help you use the Position Sizer more efficiently. You can access the EA's input parameters in three ways. First, you can change them when attaching the A to the chart. Second, once the A is attached, you can right-click on the chart, select Expert List, select the Position Sizer, and click Properties. The third option is just to press F7 on your keyboard. The first section of the input parameters is about making the position sizers display more compact. Show line labels turns on the text labels under the stop loss and take profit line, marking the distance to the entry endpoints. It's turned on by default, and here's how it looks when turned on. Now, let's turn it off. The line labels have disappeared. Let's turn it back on. The next parameter is show additional SL label. If set to true, it will enable a text label above the stop loss line, showing both percentage and currency risk you are running with this stop loss. The show additional TP label parameter is similar to the previous one. If set to true, it will enable a text label above the take profit line, showing potential reward and percentage points currency units, and R values. The draw text as background parameter will push the labels behind the chart's candles. This can be useful if you don't want the labels to obscure the candlesticks. Here's how it looks. The panel on top of chart parameter, if changed to false, will push the panel behind the chart's candles. This will bring the chart to the forefront, but will make the panel harder to read. Here's how it looks. The hide account size parameter will remove the entire account balance or equity row from the panel. This might be useful if you do not want to look at your balance or if you don't want it to show up on chart screenshots. The show point value parameter will turn in the display of one point's value to be shown at the bottom of the panel's main tab. The point value takes into account the balance currency and the position size calculated by the A. The show max BS button parameter activates the button to the left of the position size output. Clicking on this button will set the position size to the maximum value, which is possible with your current available margin. It is a very risky option, and you should only use it if you know what you are doing. The Start Panel Minimize parameter does just what it says. If you enable it while attaching the position sizer to the chart, it will launch in a minimized state. This might be useful if you have all the necessary parameters set via defaults and plan to use only lines and hotkeys to set up your trades. The Show ADA Options parameter enables position size calculation based on the average true range or ADOT indicator. This allows substituting some multiples of ADOT for both the stop loss and take profit values. If enabled, you can see and control the ADOT period, stop loss multiplier, take profit multiplier, and ADOT timeframe. The panel also shows the current ADOT value. As you can see, setting some non-zero multiplier switches the control over SL and TP lines to the expert advisor. You can also tick these checkboxes if you want the bid ask spread to be accounted for in a TR-based stop loss or take profit calculations. The next section of the input parameters concerns the fonts used in the labels. SL label color controls the color of the stop loss label, which is lime by default. TP label color controls the color of the take profit label, which is yellow by default. The label font size input parameter controls the font size for all the labels. Label font face controls the label's font face. Let's see how changing them works. Next come the line parameters. Entry line color, stop loss line color, take profit line color, and stop price line color control the line colors. Let's change them all to see how this affects the chart. Entry line style. 
Stop loss line style. Take profit line style. And stop price line style control the line styles. Let's change them all to dash and see how the lines change on the chart. Entry line width. Stop loss line width. Take profit line width. And stop price line width form another set of purely cosmetic parameters. As their names imply, they control the width of the respective lines. To see how the width changes on the chart, it is necessary to first switch the line styles to solid. Now, setting the width to 3 will result in lines that are much more noticeable. The next group of input parameters deals with the default values for all the panel's fields. The main use case for these input parameters is to make it possible for you to configure the default values to your liking and save them, either via the settings file like this, or via the chart template, like this. The trade direction parameter sets the default direction for your trades. The next input parameter sets the default stop loss value in points. Setting a non-zero value here will enable the reset to default button for the stop loss. Let's try it. As you can see, the button appears. Clicking on it moves the stop loss line to the default distance. The TP input parameter lets you control the default take profit distance and points. It will make it so that the position sizer loads on the chart with the given take profit distance set. Entry type lets you switch the default value from instant to pending or to stop limit. If you are on MT5, show lines controls whether the entry, SL, TP, and stop price lines are shown by default. Line selected controls whether the chart lines for stop loss, take profit, and entry, for the pending entry type, will be selected for dragging by default. The next six input parameters concern the settings for calculating position size based on the average true range indicator. ADOT period sets the default period input parameter for the average true range indicator. ADR multiplier SL controls the default multiplier to calculate the stop loss based on the average true range value. ADR multiplier TP controls the default multiplier to calculate the take profit based on the average true range value. ADR timeframe sets the chart period for the ADR calculation. Spread adjustment SL and spread adjustment TP control the default state of the checkboxes on the main tab. When the average true range indicator is used for SLTP calculation, the show ADI options input parameter, which we've seen earlier, should be enabled for us to see how these six change the panel's fields. Commission controls the default commission size charged by your broker for opening a trade. Changing it will update the value on the panel. Account button lets you switch the default account size type between balance, equity, and balance minus CPR. Risk lets you change the default risk percentage value. Money risk sets the default risk in currency units. Count pending orders changes the default state of the checkbox with the same name on the panel's risk tab. Ignore orders without stop loss or take profit, and ignore other symbols control the default states of the respective checkboxes on the same tab. As you can see, if we switch the values, the position sizer will update them on the panel. The custom leverage input parameter lets you change the default leverage size used in margin calculations. Changing it will result in an updated value on the margin tab of the panel. The magic number input parameter will change the default value for the magic number field on the trading tab.
commentary is the default order commentary. Auto suffix enables or disables the automatic commentary suffix checkbox on the trading tab. Disable trading when lines are hidden sets the default state for the checkbox by the same name. Max slippage, max spread, max entry SL distance, and min entry SL distance all control the respective fields of the trading tab. If we update them here, the field's values change on the panel too. Max position size lets you set the maximum position size in standard lots that the position sizer is allowed to open. It also appears on the trading tab. Subtract OPV controls the default state of the subtract open positions volume checkbox. Changing the subtract POV parameter will change the default state of the subtract pending orders volume checkbox. Do not apply stop loss and do not apply take profit also control the respective checkboxes on the trading tab. Ask for confirmation lets you set whether you want the trading confirmation window to come up by default. Panel Position X and Panel Position Y serve to set the coordinates where the panel will appear on the chart when you attach the Expert Advisor. Let's test how it works by setting different values here. Panel Position Corner sets the chart corner to be used as a point of reference for panel position coordinates. For example, if we change it to right lower chart corner, the panel's starting position will be calculated from that corner. TP locked on SL can be used to set the take profit button on the main tab into a lot. State where the TP value always follows the stop loss value. You can see how this works. Trailing stop and break even inputs control the default values of the trailing stop and break even fields of the panel. If updated, they will change on the trading tab too. The max number of trades parameter sets the default maximum number of trades for the EA to allow before starting to refuse opening new trades. The all symbols parameter controls whether all symbols should be checked for open trades before applying the limit set via the maximum number of trades field. This input parameter concludes the list of the defaults group of inputs. The next group is miscellaneous, which contains input parameters that let you make some interesting adjustments to the position sizer. TP multiplier sets the number which is used to multiply the stop loss distance by when setting the take profit level by clicking on the take profit button. By default, it's one. If we change it to three, for example, we can see how it changes on the main tab and how clicking the button moves the TP line correspondingly. Use Commission to set TP distance lets you set whether the position sizer should take into account the commission size when setting the take profit via the TP button. If set to true, the calculated TP distance will be set in such way as to provide the potential reward equal to the potential risk, including the commission size. Here, let's test it. As you can see, the TP distance is now greater than the SL distance due to the commission. The Show Spread input will turn on the spread display in the title bar. See how it works when we set it to true. The additional funds parameter lets you set a positive or negative value to be added to the account balance for risk size calculations. This might be useful when your real account balance doesn't reflect your total funds dedicated to trading. Custom balance is similar to additional funds, but instead of being added to the existing balance, it replaces the existing balance. Let's see how it works. As you see, the balance figure changed and the asterisk appeared next to the field.
SL Distance in Points and TP Distance in Points will switch the stop loss and take profit fields from price levels to distance in points. Let's do it to see how the panel changes. The ADOT candle parameter lets you make a minor change to how the ADOT indicator is checked when using the ATR based stop loss or take profit. It lets you switch between the current candle or previous candle when surveying the ADOT value. Current candle keeps updating in real time. Previous candle gets fixed for the duration of the current period and updates only when a new candle starts. Take profits number is the most important parameter if you are trading with multiple take profits. If you set it to a value greater than 1, Additional take profits will appear both on the main and trading tab. Now, if you open a trade with the position sizer, it will actually divide the position into several trades. Calculate an adjusted position size, if set to true, will make the panel show the position size without any rounding or adjustment based on the broker's restrictions. Let's see how it works. The round down parameter, which is set to true by default, can be used to turn off rounding down for the position size calculation and switch to normal mathematical rounding. The two quick risk input parameters let you set some values to use for quickly setting them as the percentage risk with special buttons. Let's set them to 3 and 5 for example. Now, the quick risk buttons appear on the panel. Clicking on them will change the risk value accordingly. The object prefix parameter serves to make the chart object names used by the position sizer distinguishable from those used by other indicators or expert advisors. Most likely, you will never have to change its value. You should only do so if there are compatibility problems with another expert advisor or indicator. Trade Hotkey lets you set the keyboard shortcut to open a new trade. You can use Control and Shift as modifiers for the main key, which should be a letter or a digit. Let's change it to Control Shift T and test it. And the final input parameter is symbol change reset. If set to true, it will make the panel reset to its default values when the current chart symbol is changed. This might be useful if you switch the chart through several trading instruments and don't want to use any of the modifications to the field values you've done for the previous instrument. Let's try it. As you can see, the values have reset to the defaults that we had configured earlier. That's all for the video about the position sizer's input parameters. You can subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more about the position sizer. See you later traders!